hello students in our today's lecture we will discuss next lesson which has been prescribed into your syllabus by punjab school education board title of the lesson is on saying please and it has been written by ag gardiner first of all i would like to give you a brief introduction to the writer ag gardiner Alfred George Gardiner from 1865 to 1946 he was an english journalist editor and author his essays written under the alias means written under the pen name alpha of the flu are highly regarded He was also chairman of the National Anti-Sweating League an advocacy group which campaigned for a minimum wage in industry So AG Gardiner is a famous English journalist editor and author and uh, for his writings he used his name Alpha of the Flu students this is image of the writer ag gardiner let's have a look over the brief introduction to the chapter in this essay on saying please ag gardiner discusses legal regulations versus social norms although no one is legally mandated to be courteous and well mannered it is generally expected of society or at least wished for to act in a polite manner means it becomes clear from these lines that the chapter is about courteous and well manners a person while living in society is expected to be courteous and well mannered and uh, he is at least wished for or desired to be polite the writer describes a situation in which a man physically assaulted another man for refusing to say please in this chapter the writer ag gardiner he describes an incident a situation in which a man physically assaulted assaulted means he attacks physically another man for what reason for not saying please so the writer in this uh, chapter is uh, stressing upon the need to be polite in our uh, uh, behavior with others let's now begin with the lesson this essay deals with little but socially important incidents from daily life it shows us the importance of words like please and thank you in our daily life they settle bitter quarrels and soften bad tempers the damage done by unkind words is more painful than physical injury means the essay on saying please it deals with some important incidents which seem to be very little but they are very important for our daily life the lesson shows us or teaches us the that the words like please and thank you are very important in our day to day life these words are uh, the cause 
sometimes for bitter quarrels and uh, sometimes they soften our bad tempers means by hearing such words from others we become polite sometimes so we must use the words like please and thank you in our uh, conversation with another person or in our day to day life the damage done by unkind words is more painful than physical injury so when we use impolite words or we ru- we use rude language with another person it becomes painful for that person it, be- it to tolerate someone's impolite language is more difficult than a physical injury so the writer is stressing upon the need to be polite with others in our behavior and to use polite words uh, the words which show our cut uh, which show our well manners while uh, talking to others so the chapter is about uh, the need of being polite a lift man in an office threw a passenger out of the lift as the latter was impolite in this chapter the writer is describing a an incident in which a lift man in an office he throws a passenger out of the lift because the passenger doesn't use polite words with the person with the lift man he did not use the word please while asking him to take him to the top why the lift man threw the passenger out of the lift because the passenger didn't use the word please while asking the lift man to take him to the top the author is of the opinion that discourtesy is not a legal offense if a person knocks another person down because he has broken the law the former will be acquitted the writer says that uh, it is not legally mandatory that one must be courteous but if a person attacks another person then it would be against the law but the lift man was in the wrong because the law does not permit anybody to use violence if another person is discourteous in the lesson lift man threw the passenger out of the lift it is wrong according to the law because law does not allow permit means allow because the law does not allow anyone to use violence if another person is not courteous or not well mannered or he is not polite with him or her even if a person is discourteous the law will protect him against attack so it becomes clear that to be courteous is not mandatory according to the law but it seems to be good to be polite with others an uncivil person may be called ill mannered but he cannot be compelled by the law to say please an uncivil person who is not civilized who is not polite while talking to others the writer says that an uncivil person means uh, a person who is not civilized we may call him ill mannered but he cannot be compelled compelled means he cannot be forced by the law to say please we cannot compel we cannot force anyone to use such words as please or thank you moral and intellectual damages have nothing to do in this case so when uh, a person is uh, hurt a person gets hurt 
morally or intellectual intellectually and then there is no case against such a person the lift man was perhaps badly hurt because he considered it a blot on his social position when the passenger didn't use the word please to the lift man to take him to the top of the building he considered that uh, it is a kind of blot on his social position if he had been kicked on the shin he could have approached law for getting it redressed but the pain of a wound to self respect would last a longer period he thinks that if he had been kicked he if he had been uh, attacked physically by the passenger then he would have approached the court or the law for the justice but now he has been uh, uh, hurt he has been hurt in a mental way means uh, the passenger by not using the word please has hurt him has hurt his uh, self respect and it would last a longer period means it would last for a long time if a person's self respect is wounded he remains uneasy till he inflicts such a wound on some other person if a person's self respect is wounded when we hurt a person's self respect it remains uneasy that person he remains uneasy when a person's self respect is hurt he doesn't feel comfortable till he inflicts such a wound on some other person if a person's self respect is hurt he cannot feel comfortable till he hurts some another person in the same way so to be courteous and well mannered or to use polite words like sorry please thank you all these words make us courteous and uh, we can feel we can make another person feel comfortable when we use such words so our today's discussion makes it clear that uh, this lesson on saying please is based on the theme of courtesy civility morality responsibility and control and uh, taken from uh, the writer's many furrows it is his collection the reader realizes after reading the essay that gardiner may be exploring the theme of courtesy and the benefits of being court- courteous to others means the chapter is uh, regarding the theme of courtesy morality responsibility civility and control we should follow all these uh, moral qualities while behaving with others so students today we have covered some part of the lesson on saying please tomorrow we will continue with the next part of the same lesson thank you thank you very much